possible for the ten men united to do themselves justice. The irony was that Jim Smith's men were in control of the second leg Rumbelow's cup tie and had already started to wipe out the two goal deficit. Just 17 minutes gone and Aitken floats one into John Anderson and he's unstoppable from that kind of range. The play anywhere defender would be the first to admit he didn't mean to head down onto Kernaghan's thigh and pick up the rebound, but you make your own luck in this game. Now suppose you could say the same about Quinn. He claims he didn't hear George Courtney whistle for a foul and that's why he tried to pounce on Pear's fumble and the dead ball. But what followed was totally out of order and unacceptable. As our camera from behind the goal reveals, the ball hits Pears full in the face while he's on the ground. He tugs at Quinn's legs, then shoves him with his chest, but watch the striker's fist. It had to be the red card for Quinn, but Pears might count himself lucky that he wasn't even booked. Middlesbrough tried to take advantage of the chaos and how this effort from Musto stayed out, we'll never know. He scored both goals in the first leg of the tie and won't come much closer than this to crossing Burridge's line. Still United came forward, Faraday wasn't far away with this controlled effort from outside the box. He was making the most of another chance in the first team replacing the injured Kevin Dillon. After the break it was obvious the home side was missing its main marksman but Aitken tried his best to take over the scoring role. Burrow were just a minute away from victory when the last scare came flying in. Darren Bradshaw looks as if he handles before bringing the best save of the night out of pairs. But when you slow things down a bit, you can see how close he actually came to sending the game into extra time.